Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. The first thing we're going to look at is how to emulate a mouse. So on a mouse, you have your left click, your right click, your scroll wheel, and then occasionally a couple extra buttons here. So let's get started. We're going to open up the settings, and in full screen mode, uh, you can also use float mode, but we're going to do full screen. Let's look at the one finger options. So the first one is click. So this is a left click. A long touch you can have set to right click. I leave this off because I do some editing inside of Adobe Illustrator that uses um, a real precise mouse movement and I, I find that sometimes that accidentally triggers a right click for me. Second tap and hold. So that would be uh, similar to grabbing a window or moving a file. You just do one tap and the second one and then you drag and I find that works really well for me as well. So that's going to be your left button on the mouse and then for the right one let's go ahead and open up the gestures for two fingers. Now a two finger tap is going to do a right click which is going to be very familiar for most people and then here's where we start to get fancy and where we start to gain extra function over what a mouse can provide. Now there are gaming mice that provide an extra uh, amount of buttons, like this one has 11. Tablet Pro are gestures for the full screen. There's actually 40 total, so it'd be kind of like having a, a mouse that has 40 buttons on it that was pretty easy to use. So you can see where, where Tablet Pro would have an advantage over a traditional mouse. So here what I have set up, this is the ultra profile and what that means is that I have a lot of built-in gestures that I've spent a lot of time uh, investigating and, and finding what the most commonly used shortcuts and keys are for me. Uh, I have swipe up and down set to the scroll wheel so that would be similar to this right here on the mouse swipe left and right is going to bring me back and forth in a web page uh, to the previous page and the next page if I have one. Pinching out is going to zoom the screen with touch zoom desktop and that's set to quick launch. Uh, this quick launch is a little bit different than just opening the program which would be like a run command where you could run an exe file and then control left and or rotate left and rotate right is undo and redo. Now just in the two finger alone I've shown you how you can not only emulate a mouse but surpass the functionality of a mouse. And you can see in here there's a whole bunch of other options to allow you to not only emulate the mouse but really uh, go beyond. Now for touch screen or trackpad settings click on the pointer icon here and you can see in here there is the ability to change the speed of the cursor. So if I wanted a really fast cursor speed, I could put this all the way up to 300. And if I wanted it really slow, I could bring it all the way down. I, I tend to like 200. Size of recognize to pointer move. What this means is when I touch the screen, how much do I have to move my finger before it moves the cursor? So if I have shaky hands, then this is a good way of keeping that in check and balanced out. And then you have some other options here for acceleration. Now you can see I'm using that two finger up and down to scroll the screen. If I were to go here and scroll up and down, I can do that very easily. Uh, in the next video, what I'm going to show you is how to emulate the keyboard and keyboard shortcuts. I'm <laughs> sorry.